Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Julia. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. And I'm Karina. And whoa, my <laughs> personality's getting swapped. Oh no. I'm Karina now. <gasps> And I'm uh, Jacob. Ah, don't interrupt me. I As, love I'm Digimon. just trying to get through the intro. Oh, I'd, uh, I'd be ashamed if someone <laughs> said something while you were doing the intro that interrupted it. Yeah. Wow. Whoops. Wow, we swapped rude with rude. There's not much difference here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think I'm back to normal. Yeah, me too. Wow, that was crazy. That was anyway, weird. were you saying something, Jacob? Yeah, did that have relevance to what we're doing today? It actually did. Did. What? It was, it was interesting that that happened because Animorphs. it was a perfect. We all e- have them. It was a perfect example of the type of thing we're doing in the episode today. It's a personality swap challenge. <laughs> we're taking famous characters that you know from the, the shows and the movies. Yes, you. Yes, you. And we're going to draw what, what would they be like and look like if they had a personality of a different character? How I are we going to do that? I've seen people doing this on the internet, and every time I see it, I'm like, that's that's pretty cool. We're I like that. on the internet. Yeah, so we should do it, we too. We should do it, too. That's how internet works. This Here's the way room. it's going to work. Okay. We've each picked a character that we want to draw, yeah. and we're going to take their personalities and rotate them one to the right, <laughs> and then- <laughs> To the right. If you imagine us in a circle, <laughs> yeah. rotate it one if to the right. If our drawing order is a circle- And it is. And it is. We keep going clockwise. What about a diamond? Diamond also works. Yeah. Or a square if you turn the diamond. What if they connect in the middle then? Because then we can get jumbled. They don't connect in the middle. They don't connect in the middle. It works that way. Triangle doesn't work. There's not enough points. No, you can just put someone in between the two on one side. But that person then is not as important as the other three, and that seems wrong it's to okay. me. It's okay, I'll How be there. you say that about Nathan? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. Yay. That's enough with this silliness. Okay. <laughs> People don't come here for silliness. They come here- For serious art for lessons. cold, hard yes. art. Um, heart. 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 <laughs> Nathan, Nathan, what's your character? Yeah, what character do you want to draw? I've I've chosen a character. Yes, tell <laughs> us. The character I've chosen to draw is Littlefoot from the land before time. Whittlefoot. Whittlefoot. How can there be a land before time? That's you gotta watch the movie Isn't to yeah, find you out. You gotta watch yeah, to they find explain out it in the movie. In great detail. I'll it, only watch if Tom Cruise is in it. Fair. Good news. Good news. <laughs> he voices Littlefoot. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He's in the room right now. Oh my gosh. So because we're rotating personalities, you're going to get the personality of Julia's character. Oh boy. So Julia. Spoilers. Why don't you go ahead and reveal your character so that Nathan can apply that personality to Littlefoot? Well, <laughs> recently we've been on a real crab kick. Oh no! You you've been. Okay. I've we've been. We have been collectively <laughs> we together. On a crab you've, kick. you've been. My favorite sport, crab kick. Oh. I like the way they dribble up and down the court. <laughs> Don't kick crabs. <laughs> no, it it works like triple ball, where oh, okay. you can only like scuttle sideways and then kick the ball. What's okay. your character, Mister Krabs? <laughs> Mister Krabs. Mister Krabs. Good thing I know what a crab is. Yeah. <laughs> but do you know what a Mr. Crab okay. is? Yeah, it's Little a crab foot. that's married. What's your point? <laughs> it's a crab with a bow tie. What's your point? Crabs are notoriously polygamous. <laughs> they don't get married. So they don't is, believe in it. What if Lil Maybe Foot had the personality of a money loving guy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. business with, like, owner. Bad news, guys. He's a Little small... Foot discovered money. Little yeah. Foot's a capitalist now. <laughs> He's a small business owner. He deserves your respect. Littlefoot loves that leaf. It's the land before time, but not capitalism. Yeah. You love that leaf. That leaf is quiche. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's true. Maybe he starts a, a leaf, a tree star yeah. business. Yeah. He's like, I love leaf. Other people must love leaf. We all love leaf. We all love, love leaf. leaf. What if I monetized leaf? Yeah. I want to get the leaf. What if I? But there's no money, so I I leafitize leaf. He creates yeah. business for it's more leaf. Leaf economy. The leaf economy. The yeah. tree star economy. You you love it or leaf it? Yeah. Yeah. He's the first to realize that if you save leaf, 
you can have more leaf more leaf in the future and then you can yeah. loan out leaf at a predatory rate yeah <laughs> And you end up with even more leaf in the end when they have to pay you back. I hate Littlefoot. Yeah. Why? <laughs> why? You, hate, you I know hate why? This version of Littlefoot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Crabblefoot. Crabblefoot. Lil Crabs. Yeah. <laughs> this is Lil Crabs. Oh, I picked a hard Little character. Crab. I wanted to draw yeah. a dinosaur, and then remember, Littlefoot doesn't look like a dinosaur. <laughs> yes, yes, it looks it like a nightmare. He kind of looks like a shoebox in many ways. Okay. <laughs> what shoebox? Yeah, explain yourself. Because he's got yourself. like the, the boxy head and he's snout and then the, the feet are real. <laughs> the, the feet are real. real. <laughs> the real cut off. It's notorious it's so real feet. weird how they just like superimposed real human feet onto Littlefoot. Yeah, that's where they got the idea for cats. They were like, let's do that again. It yeah. worked so well with Land Before Time. He's got these like little ears, yeah, like, little like dinosaur ears. Little ears, little, <laughs> little feet. feet. <laughs> Can't lose. You know what that means. <laughs> You've heard the cat boy ear debate. Have you heard about the dinosaur boy ear debate? You have now. You it have exists now. now. It's here. If we keep talking shit, we're gonna get the the timies coming in. The the land before time fandom. <laughs> They're called timies. Keep talking shittlefoot. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking shittlefoot. Oh my god. We're not talking shittlefoot. Don't come yeah. for us. No. Littlefoot's great. He's you know, he he loses his mom very early on in the movie. Spoilers. And he has to deal with that. There's also just like a horrible, terrifying monster after him the entire time. That sharp becomes a capitalist. Sharp tooth, and then yeah, he he has to fill the void left by his dead mother with cash, cash, cash money. I just I have to confess up top, never seen Land Before Time. Oh, never that, seen a that single was clear Land to me Time. based on your behavior. <laughs> yeah, based on the fact that you called him a shoebox <laughs> with real feet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making some guesses here. Okay, because Mr. Krabs oftentimes has his little claws on his hips, but Littlefoot's. Yeah, Mr. Krabs also wears clothes. Yeah, there's no clothes in dinosaur times. Maybe he makes clothes. Maybe he out makes of the clothes leaves. out of the leaves. So yeah, he, maybe he he's got like a yeah all of the leaves. Got like a tree star. Oh, tie. and then he can sell leaf clothing as well. It's like, look, <laughs> I've I've made a That's new what thing. I just it's called said. clothes. <laughs> <laughs> As part of a star. This is capitalism at work is you just sort of take an idea someone else said and rebrand it as your own <laughs> so julia's version of the clothing store it's the same but julia thought of it what yeah. if he took the stars though and made them into clothes Ooh, jacob i like that and idea then that's really thinking the outside clothes. the box you got to remember i'm a man saying it yeah all right he's got it money like, please tied up with like some <laughs> Some grass, mm -hmm. some ancient grass. Ancient <laughs> grass. It wasn't ancient to him yeah. then. Yeah, this it was just new... normal grass. Grass is like a newish plant, relatively. Maybe these are like reeds or palms. Oh yeah, or ferns. Some sort of con coniferous. Yeah, reed. ferns have been around forever. Yeah, yeah. maybe Fern these ever. are reeds or palms or ferns. Ooh, Jacob, good point. Ferns have been around forever. <laughs> really Jacob, good point. I'm glad you said it. Thank you. Someone had to. Thank Someone you. had to. Because <laughs> the, aren't yeah. the tree stars really rare? They're rare until they get to the Great Valley. Oh, and then they're like everywhere. And then they're freaking everywhere. Yeah, and then but they once have you to... start trading and selling them, yeah, he then creates kind of become a limited resource. He creates right. scarcity. Like they wouldn't be rare, but yeah. they, you know, he creates this this system where, you know, rather than being incentivized to make sure that everybody who needs a tree star gets a tree star it's there there's this like false scarcity that happens so that he can he can get he's like out here like you need to earn a tree star you need star. to earn a tree star if people aren't afraid to starve to death 
from lack of tree star the the system collapses he's like pick yourself up by your boot scales yes and, and then he starts saying tree like star. what is romance if you haven't received a tree star from your partner oh, oh there we go yeah, yeah. God. he's yeah. like is he's are so you really cunning. dinosaur married if you haven't done a tree star ceremony yeah, exactly. <laughs> he invents marriage. He invents marriage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crabblefoot invents marriage. Crabblefoot invents marriage. <laughs> headline breaking news. Yeah. <laughs> Land before time little, little... 12. <laughs> Crabblefoot like... invents marriage. More like Land before marriage. Hey. <laughs> Land before my wife. It sounds like a paradise, am I right? <laughs> He's got a little tree star <laughs> ring because he's married <gasps> to the job to the job yeah, to the grind <laughs> the hustle um, he's married to Sarah but it's just for show yeah <laughs> there's no love there they don't like each other oh, they don't even like foot. each other how bad can you be <laughs> you scoundrel little foot <laughs> crabble foot crabble foot <laughs> <laughs> we made Mr. Krabs Way worse than he is <laughs> yeah. in SpongeBob. I mean, Mr. Krabs isn't great. No, he's not great. But he didn't invent capitalism, whereas no. Littlefoot has to invent he capitalism. He might as well have. <laughs> he's the only one who like does capitalism under the sea. I feel like Plankton only does it in response to what Mr. Krabs does. There's other businesses in SpongeBob. But they're not predatory. We don't know that. We don't see them as much. I I know that. Wow. I've done my research. Interesting. Littlefoot's the, not the a business. predator. He's a herbivore. Hey. Hey. That's one of his taglines. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's give him a Mr. Krabsy face. Ooh, little shit-eating grin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Maybe the head should be even more like tilted back. <laughs> 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 Walking around like he owns the place. Yeah. He so kind of really, does. He's really looking down his nose at you, his shoebox nose. Yeah. <laughs> he's trying to at least. He can't really see around it fully. Yeah. And yet he continues to not age. Right. He's still little. Let's get these still eyes feet. a little bit taller. Oh, oh yeah. immediately. Let's give him like this, this sort of lid. You can see so many star leaves. With these <laughs> eyes. But is is Crapplefoot redeemable? I think so. He's still young. You know, maybe he's visited by some ghosts and he learns the error of his ways on right. Christmas. Do dinosaurs <laughs> make ghosts when they Are there die? dino ghosts? Is that your question? Yeah. Like here in the room? Here in the room? They're not Christian. I just mean like in, in dinosaur times, they were, you know, living and dying, but do they maybe, make ghosts? Maybe Crabblefoot invented Christianity. Oh. And that's what creates ghosts? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Christianity creates ghosts? <laughs> wow. I've learned so much in this episode. And it's only the first drawing. Wow. Imagine really? what we still have to learn. <laughs> yeah, we're asking some tough questions on this episode. Yeah. Disclaimer, I know that was a weird statement. No one at me. Crabblefoot invented all cultures. <laughs> That's why he's so rich. <laughs> if there's a marketing opportunity, Crabblefoot's been involved. And created the source. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Always looking out for new opportunities. He saw one dinosaur die and was like, Ooh, what if? <laughs> what if instead of just how, leaving them there? Yeah, <laughs> how can I make this lucrative? <laughs> oh my goodness. He's got two top teeth and a row of bottom teeth. So I'm trying to <laughs> Oh, match. that's disturbing. It's just not right. It's just not right. That's just, no. that's that's just the design. That's just the design. I'm just staying true to the design. Oh, what if what if Crabblefoot got like fake teeth in? Ooh, you know, that's for, like, a good the commercial. Okay, yeah. Let's let's give him a full row. <laughs> you know, of top he's got teeth. them like pearly that'll, whites. That'll help. Yeah, pearly, pearl. Oh yeah, like the mask. I want him to look like the mask. <laughs> Rita just looked at me. 
<laughs> what voice do we think Crabblefoot has? Closer to Littlefoot or closer to Mr. Krabs? I don't know <laughs> exactly why he would, like Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I don't know why he'd have the pirate voice because pirates wouldn't have existed. He yet. invented them. He invents pirates. Much like he invented all cultures. I mean, there's probably a, a Land Before... There's like a million Land Before Time movies. There's probably one where there's like a rogue ship of dinos. <laughs> Why would there be ships? They invented ships. <laughs> they invented to them. move the leaves to get across, across the ocean. The, the big water. Question they, mark. They call it the big water. Damn, the big water. Yeah. I'm going to look up water Land Before big. Time Bandits. There's there's aliens. There are aliens. There are I aliens mean, in, in Land Before Time. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this face is... It's really good. It's something. But in like a good way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe it should be like bigger. I do like that we're he's like, got a big yeah, head. he wears clothes and it's just a leaf tied around his <laughs> neck. I don't know. And a ring. Oh, yes, yeah. He's got his. He's got his... I mean, he could have more. He could have more leaves like down his back. No, maybe. I'm not saying that as a complaint. Maybe these are just like these kinds of leaves. Oh, yeah. You know, nice little cape. He's got sort of like a cape of leaves. That's the look. They're not tree stars. He keeps <laughs> the tree stars up front. These are just regular <laughs> yeah, leaves. That's the showpiece. There's no bandits that I could find in Land for Time no franchise. bandits. There simply did, must be. I did accidentally do that wheel of fortune uh before and after game i did what? land before time bandits and there's a movie oh, called time bandits and google yeah. was very confused <laughs> as to what i was looking for yeah you did do that i did do that she did that <laughs> land before time bandits <laughs> it's just the period of time pre that movie coming yeah. out <laughs> it's a lot of time before time bandits which is a movie i've not seen does this little foot also have a daughter that's a completely different species? Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe because he, because again, he's married to uh, Sarah. So it's a yeah. triceratops. Um, oh. Is Mr. Krabs married? That's why her name is Sarah. Triceratops. Oh, I yeah. legitimately never thought about that until oh. just now. Yeah, I just realized that now. That's what that noise was. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's even spelled like that. Is it? I think so. I don't no think it's way. spelled like the name Sarah. I think it's spelled like Sarah. They don't spell it in the movie. Right. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs can't spell. Li Littlefoot invented spelling. Yeah. And puns. And yeah. prison. And prison. <laughs> oh my God, it is spelled Sarah as in C-E-R-A. Like Michael. Like Michael Sarah. <laughs> That's where they got the idea from yeah. Michael Sarah. Um, <laughs> Directly. Can I be influence. done? Yeah. 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 You did a great job. I, mm, I love it. <laughs> Little crabs. It's Crabblefoot. <laughs> Little crabs. <laughs> Crabblefoot. Ugh. Okay. You nailed it, Nathan. Thank Good you. job. I love it. So now we know that whoever you chose is getting Littlefoot's personality. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Correct. And. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, I picked the character Vegeta. <laughs> oh boy. Vegeta Dragon Ball Z. Whoa. Who's not like Littlefoot in in many ways. No. I would say. No. Does Littlefoot have a personality? That's also what I'm trying to think about. <laughs> can we can we get a description on Littlefoot's personality? Littlefoot's personality I'll, I'll look it up. is he's like a, a child. He's a grieving child. <laughs> He doesn't even grieve, really. <laughs> he cries for a while after his mom dies. Okay. For some reason, I remember Littlefoot being kind of like a little shit. I mean, that that's sort of the way yeah, blue movies depict children as <laughs> yeah. impulsive and irrational and overly emotional. They don't treat each other well in that movie. The, the dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah they're, they're all children. like racist. <laughs> Particularly Sarah. Sarah is- Sarah's really racist. She's kind of mean. This um, looks like Aang right now from Avatar. <laughs> is okay. Aang what happens when you combine Littlefoot and Vegeta? I do have a description from the wiki on Littlefoot's personality. Okay, let's, yeah, let's go. The wiki is gonna know better than me because I haven't seen the movie in, in quite some time. Littlefoot is modest, intelligent, playful, adventurous, and positive. 
Reflecting his love of adventure, he is most often seen singing the song Adventuring in the television series. He's he's most, most often? often seen singing that song. Is that the theme song <laughs> yeah. to the television series? Most often. Towards his family and friends, he tends to be very ethical, mature, <laughs> very caring, ethical. and protective. <laughs> I forgot there was a TV series, too. There were so many movies. I'm thinking specifically about the first movie, but yeah, I guess his, his character does grow and mature yeah into an ethical young man <laughs> yeah he's very ethical so ethical <laughs> that's so ethical way to go little foot <laughs> not <laughs> not crabble foot not crabble foot <laughs> I crabble like foot is not ethical that you know he's just like my name's crabble foot now and they're like what's a crab <laughs> <laughs> they've never seen a crab before yeah it's a Weird little thought experiment for you at home <laughs> to so do I'm, on your own time. Yeah. I'm going with like sort of a childlike Vegeta here. Aww. Oh, sure. Going on a big adventure separated from his father, King Vegeta. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a very different because we see, you know, baby Prince Vegeta in the Dragon Ball Z show. Yes. We do? Yes. Yeah, do we? Yeah, he just looks like a child version of Vegeta. He's still like just a little pissed off dude. I love that, like I, his son. I had to find a picture of that for the to put on screen during the uh, the Digimon Disney episode. Oh, right, because oh. we talk about you it. You talk there. about it then, <laughs> so it's fresh in my mind. I yeah, don't remember you know. things. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot happening in that episode. Go watch it after yeah. this. When you were talking about that episode, when we were messaging, you mentioned the snut segment, and I was like. Oh no. Did I say snut? You said snut. <laughs> you said snut. Turns out I said it many times. <laughs> I mean, would you really put it past yourself? I mean, no, I just don't remember doing it is the thing. Child Vegeta really is just scaled down normal Vegeta. Yeah, who's already a scale with a tail. <laughs> he has bangs. <laughs> He's kind of got bangs. Oh, he does have a little bangs. <laughs> his hair has not receded yet. I, rem I thought peak. I remember Child Vegeta having the receding hairline too. Uh, is not there, according to Is there to a Google. different one? There's uh, fan art of him with the Widow's Peak, but he seems to mostly have bangs. Wow. This changes things. Really makes you think. There's a little chibi version of Kid Goku and Kid Vegeta, and Vegeta still has the bangs. <laughs> I'm not editing this episode, so this is all for David to find. Hey, or, buddy. Cut. <laughs> or cut. Or cut. David, they... find me a child Vegeta <laughs> with a receding hairline. I want that pictures of art. child Vegeta. <laughs> On my desk. <laughs> By the end of the week. Give me pictures of Spider-Man and child Vegeta. <laughs> but not that bangs one. <laughs> that it's an imposter. I want him to be a balding Vegeta. Balding child. Give me Vegeta. a bald child. <laughs> Get me a bald child on my desk. <laughs> We're gonna dress him up like Vegeta. <laughs> that bald child is a menace. <laughs> Get me pictures of him and Spider-Man. Oh, no, we're just talking about Caillou again. <laughs> oh, I should have picked Caillou. <laughs> yeah, that kid needs a personality change. <laughs> yeah. Mr. So, Caillou. We, we could have fixed him, but. <laughs> uh, yeah. I do like this. This is sweet. Yeah, this is really cute. This is just going to be a cute little Vegeta going on a, a big adventure. And this is like, you know, obviously right before his whole planet gets destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. And his entire, everyone he ever knew dies. Namek. Except for Goku. Namek? Namek isn't Namek where is he's where from. where the Namekians live, He's Julia. a Saiyan. What was the Saiyan planet called? Wasn't it called like... Namek. Namek. Planet Saiyan or something? Na Namek. Plan it was Planet Vegeta. Was it Planet Vegeta? Somebody it, look this up. Was I'm it looking it up. Named after Vegeta? <laughs> What's the Saiyan planet called? What's the Saiyan planet called? What's the Saiyan planet called? Oh my God. It's planet Vegeta. I thought it was. <laughs> Formerly known as planet plant. Planet plant? It's a horrible name. <laughs> yeah, I prefer planet Vegeta. <laughs> I love, it says, 
it has a list of rulers and it's Truffle King, King Vegeta, King Cold, Frieza, Baby. <laughs> baby. Yeah, you can't forget about Baby. <laughs> Who's Baby? Baby um, looks like a character a... out of Osmosis Jones. If Baby is not a baby. Is ba- Frieza the one who blew no. up the planet? <laughs> yeah. Frieza's the one who blow up the planet. I see. So Frieza become king of planet just to blow up planet. Yes. As you do. Because it's like a, a Spartan society where the strongest get get the rights. But Frieza's not even a Saiyan. No, Frieza was a conquering force. I see. But Frieza was stronger than any of the Saiyans. But not Goku. Why do well, Saiyans not have later. tails? Not later. Because they turn into big monkey on they the full turn moon. Into Why big do they mon- turn into big monkey? Because they thing. have tails. Yeah, it's their thing. You can't, you can't say that. Give me a real reason, please. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're aliens. Like They can do whatever they want. I would like to know why. I mean, you don't need a reason if you're an alien. It's just like what you do. It'd be like if aliens came here and they were like, why do you eat food? It's like, well, we have to. It's just what we do. Yeah, but I'd also be like, well, why do you turn into a monkey? That's they, just an animal that we have here. Well, well it's, it's like a you big. You could turn yeah. into. It's Frieza. like a big. We don't have monkeys that big. <laughs> it's an ape-like creature. I'd say. I would say it's not. You know, it's an apelian. It's an apelian. <laughs> Nathan's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rude ape. I just. You turn into. I a just big, feel like ape. it's a bit silly that's all i think a lot of dragon ball is no the rest silly. of it is really grounded in comparison to that point <laughs> thankfully nothing karina is, he a is fan sonic of is shoes silly. <laughs> yeah i only like high art yeah they're not sonic shoes they're saiyan shoes oh, okay they, it's okay you added extra lines yeah. they're no longer sonic shoes they're no longer sonic shoes this is really cute yeah Jacob. i like this a lot <laughs> thank you <laughs> and i mean then i think what i'll do in the render is I'll put in like more of like a, like I'll look up what the planet looks like planet and have them like exploring it. The Earth planet or the Vegeta planet? The Vegeta planet. But for now, we'll just sort of like get in like. Some I like rocks. to imagine that everything looks like Vegeta. Like <laughs> the mountains are the, just giant Vegeta heads. Yeah, the plants <laughs> look like his widow's peak. <laughs> the plants grow in, looking like his his the top of his hairline. Yeah. Oh yeah. The skyline of his hair. Yeah. The clouds say. Bad man, or whatever <laughs> <laughs> his shirt says. It says bad man. Like some mountains back yeah, here. Yeah, and everything's short. What's the matter? Never seen a pink shirt before. <laughs> <laughs> probably there was like multiple moons or stuff. Yeah, like probably. Planets you can see in the and sky. And they all look like Vegeta. Oh, I got to get the tail in there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking. Oh, okay. this is, I'd watch this. Yeah, yeah. you can't mansplain Dragon Ball Z to me and then not add in the thing I was talking about. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't mansplain because I had nothing to explain. You say insplain. I couldn't even explain, much less mansplain. Uh huh. (laughs) You asked unanswerable questions. I'm pretty sure they'd be answerable. I tried to find the answer and it wasn't on the wiki. It's because there is no answer. It's just how it is. Yeah, the answer to why why ape, why do ape? I did find out that their power wow. level is measured when they're born. That seems like a lot of pressure to put on a, a, a newborn baby. Yeah, like, dude, that's a baby. Yeah. Do they look like monkeys when they're born? No. Man. Unless it's a full moon. This is all so stupid. I'll never be happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Littlefoot Vegeta pre-tragedy. Little uh, Vegeta. Little Vegeta. <laughs> Little Vegeta. Little Vegeta, everything is going to work out just great for Aww. you. I know it is. All right, I'm done. Karina, you get in here so I can ask you questions you can't answer. Okay. All right, Karina. Okay. Which character were you going to draw? Well, apropos of nothing truly at all, I really felt like drawing Madoka. <laughs> From oh. what the heck was it called? Puella, Puella Mag- Magi, Maduka, Magica, Magica, Maduka, Maguka. So I really wanted to draw her because I think her design's so cute. But what about as Vegeta? But what if she was Vegeta? 
It's an interesting question. For sure. <laughs> but what if as Vegeta? Oh, this is fun. Now we have all the information also. So the yeah. entire time you're drawing, we get to look forward to Julia drawing <laughs> Madoka, Mr. Krabs. Yeah. Oh, no. It all works out. This is it's great. great. Can I... I know nothing about Madoka. Oh, uh, we'll we'll get there. And okay. But first, can can we get me there? Can I get a rundown on some Vegeta facts? Because he's a classic uh, villain turned pal story. Yes. He's bad man. He's the bad man. He, he kills lots most... of people. Yeah, but it's okay because he eventually teams up with them. He cares most about power and getting stronger. Mostly being stronger than Goku okay. is what he wants. And he's willing to make a lot of sacrifices to become more powerful because he comes from a family of conquerors. Oh. Yeah. And he his, was raised to conquer planets. His dad was the king. His planet was named after him. <laughs> he's yeah. Also a, yeah, he's a prince. I'm looking on the wiki. It says he's arrogant throughout the series and becomes bitter. <laughs> yeah. But then he married Bulma and have baby trunks. Yeah, the main thing I know about Vegeta is that he has a hot wife. He's yeah. got a hot wife, but he's a, a bad- <laughs> And he has a hot son. A bad dad. Because <laughs> even after that, he still become Majin Vegeta. Oh. He still go evil again yeah, for a bit. okay, that doesn't help bit. me. <laughs> for a bit, but then he stopped. Because it gains him more power. Yeah. He okay. cares, number one, about power. Mm -hmm. Number two, wife. And kid, yeah, <laughs> it's a distant second. Yeah, I do love when bad man do love wife. <laughs> bad man love wife. I just think it's cute. <laughs> and Madoka get quite a bit of power. Spoilers. Yeah, Madoka super strong. So but what if I haven't watched the series? So don't do any big spoilers. I'm trying. I also haven't. But sort of the I'll only spoil in <laughs> in Maguka. <laughs> speak. Yeah, so that it doesn't give away too much. Cause being Maguka is suffering. Yes. I guess if she do a bad man. Okay. What if Would she it... use her power to conquer? Yeah. Well, that'd be bad. <laughs> but what would that make her wish? Would that make her wish less powerful? Hmm. Because she make powerful wish, but the... <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're speaking like babies because we don't want to spoil the series. She make powerful wish, but it from good place. If good wish... Good place, powerful it, wish. If wish, <laughs> if wish come from bad place, do that make it less powerful? Hmm. Mm. I really love this line that's in this Vegeta wiki I'm reading. It's pretty good. Um, it talks about him becoming Majin Buu because he had... He becomes Majin Vegeta. Ma I'm sorry, Majin Vegeta. Oh my God, an ad popped up and then the thing went away. <laughs> <laughs> You're I not meant to know really this information. I really do love fan wiki. I love how it makes it as hard as possible to read on my phone. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Where did it go? It was so good. Just trying oh. to get the dang Maguka style. Yeah, you're doing it. Thanks, I'm, I'm trying. Is that like Gangnam style? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Remember the song? <laughs> I, yeah, I do. When he did the funny dance. Guys, I found it. I found it. Uh -huh. it, says, it says he becomes Majin because he felt ashamed for liking the fact that he loved to be a, a, home, a home husband. No. And a competent warrior, so I become evil. And then it says, "This was a desperate, failed ploy to restore his former wickedness, believing it to have been the source of his true power." Goku believes Vegeta is bluffing, and correctly so. <laughs> Vegeta demonstrates his prevailing softness in hugging Trunks for the first time, and telling him that he is proud to be his father, before performing Aww. a sacrificial final explosion against Majin Buu. <laughs> <laughs> oh All God. fathers must do that in Dragon love, Ball at least yes, once. I love dads. Here's the thing: I didn't grow up watching Dragon Ball Z. I found mm -hmm. it tedious. Fair, but I did watch a little of Dragon Ball GT, mm -hmm. where he become baby. 
The Question one that's mark? largely considered non-canon. Interesting. Well, that's the only one I kind of watched growing up, I think. It's wild that GT is the one you caught because it was like even hard to find or hard to watch here. It was on here. Toonami. I guess eventually it was, but I think it was past the time that, that I was watching. I just remember watching it and being like, what is what is this? It was just one of those shows that was on and I think maybe I was like watching something else and I was like, okay, I guess I'll watch this since it's here. What's the GT stand for? Grand Tour. Tour? Oh. Grand Torino. Grand Torino. <laughs> Clint Eastwood's in That's it. the one with Clint Eastwood. <laughs> he tells Goku to get off his lawn and then yeah, Goku the explodes action. him. It's the American live action one where Clint Eastwood is Goku. He it's yells at an empty practice. chair, pretending Goku's in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like how this is looking. <laughs> I have to figure out what, what she wears. She's scaring me. Yeah, she's mean. She's mean now. She Y'all remember power. Madoka? She's mean now. <laughs> <laughs> She has all this power to yeah. destroy worlds. A little too much suffering in being Maguka, so yeah. got tired of it, decided, you know what? <laughs> I make others suffer now. Yeah, she's like, I did so much for y'all, and what did you do in return? You just kept fucking it up, so now I'm mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and Vegeta now. I'm Vegeta now. <laughs> You all had this coming. Yeah. Could have at least said thank you, but no. I think from now on, we should only describe how we're feeling in reference to Dragon Ball characters. Okay. So you can oh. be feeling Vegeta today. Yeah. Feeling a little Goku. Well, I don't know that many characters, so. Feel a little Goku in my life. <laughs> If I'm ever at a loss, I'll just say a line from Maguka. <laughs> <laughs> But why? <laughs> because. <laughs> we got to actually watch Madoka. Yeah. yeah. We should. It's you been should. on my list for like it's, eternity. It's short and good. Yeah. Just like Krillin. And then you can oh, watch yeah. Maguka. <laughs> I feel pretty Krillin when watching <laughs> Madoka. <laughs> Vegeta. Vegeta. Become Vegeta. Oh man, he's just like wearing like a tank top. Sometimes he's wearing like a little a little vest. Yeah, he's got different outfits depending oh, on. He's got the, the art. Batman the shirt, magical girl version oh, of this. Give Vispy. her the, the Batman shirt. <laughs> if you can make the like sand shoulders, but like real flowy. Oh, that's a good picture. I just found a picture of a child's Vegeta wig, and oh. Oh it's pretty good. <laughs> the dead eyes of this. <laughs> what does Majin mean? If you're gonna so, if you're gonna mansplain Dragon Ball Z to me, you've got to do the whole thing now. So let me tell you about it, okay? Yeah. There was a witch called Babadi, <laughs> and Babadi could do a spell that made you Majin, which basically means evil. Yeah, but like. What's the advantage of being Majin? You get a lot stronger, mm -hmm. but you're also a lot more evil. And so Vegeta takes takes her up on the offer to gain strength. Teen Wolf rules. But, the be, evil but become bad. I think it was Babidi and not Bibidi. <laughs> There's two witches. I'm looking it up. And their names are Bibidi and Babidi. That's good. That's really good. And the monster they create is Boo. What does this have to do with Teen Wolf? In the end. <laughs> They, they created Boo. Yeah, they Boo, created Teen Wolf? They created Teen Wolf. Whoa. So is Boo already Majin when he shows up? No, he's just Boo. That's when he's like the, the big, the chubby one. Yeah. And he's like nice and just wants to eat cakes. Gotcha. And then he gets he gets Majin'd. I see. Well, doesn't he still like cause a lot of damage? He's like nice, but he's really strong. He, yeah, he does. But then they come, they're, they're like getting him to come around. And then they cast, then the witches come and cast a spell. Yeah, and then he get Majin. I see. You know how it is. So there's space witches. 
Because didn't Boo come from space? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so Majin Boo was a genie-like magical life form oh awoken by God. the evil warlock Bibidi mm -hmm. millions of years before Dragon Ball. Wow. What the hell? And what then was he, he was sealed that? away. But then Bibidi's son, Babidi, <laughs> carried out the father's plan to conquer the universe wow. by unsealing Boo. Oh. Just goes to show my internal bias to assume that a witch had to be a lady. I thought Babidi wow. was a lady from Bibbidi watching it. Bibidi is a little was... turtle man. Yeah. That's my bad. No, that's... But then... You can be a, a, a man witch. Get this, though. <laughs> Get this. A man witch. <laughs> <laughs> Boo is reincarnated after he's defeated as a little boy named Oob. And Goku takes him on as like a, like a protege. Aww. So it's Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo Oob. Yes, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo, and then Oob. Yo, I boob. hate it here. <laughs> Bibbidi Bobbidi Boob. I'm glad boob. I never got into Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> you missed out on all of this. <laughs> I prefer the nonsense I did decide was a formative part of my personality. I prefer yeah. to just string together <laughs> the episodes I did catch after school when I would come home and just turn on the TV. Yeah, I just, all I watched was the Namek saga, and I don't think I even finished it, but that was the extent. And then my one friend showed me the pink shirt episode. <laughs> Important. And I, and I was like, this is too much for me. The pink shirt was where it- Yeah, that's where you drew the line. Where it lost you. Well, just Vegeta being their friend was- jarring to me i think it's cute no i i agree now <laughs> the the enemy to friend uh transformation was was too much for my child brain to handle i this was like madoka is just a big fan of dragon ball z yeah yeah this is madoka cosplaying this is her correcting all the mistakes we made talking about dragon ball this <laughs> yeah. episode. she's like i'm no longer gonna end suffering i'm just gonna correct everyone's misconceptions about dragon ball <laughs> I'm, I'm sick of this <laughs> please respect my fandom yeah she's just gonna have like leggings because i don't know where i'm going with this there, there are... are so many pictures of vegeta and i don't know what's going on in half of them He's got different looks. I know that now. <laughs> there are this witches. This is my favorite one. <laughs> in Madoka. Yeah. Maybe one of them is named Bibbidi. Oh my God, that's her familiar. Wait, is this hers? Like a Dragon Ball Z witch? <laughs> <laughs> she makes a Dragon Ball Z wish. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to isekai her way into Dragon Ball. And live in that world. <laughs> yeah. So she can be friends with Goku. That's fair. Madoka. So she can do an enemies to friends arc with Goku. Yeah. <laughs> God. What is this? And Homura can come too. <laughs> it's a girl who wants to beat me up. Yeah. And that is correct. Yeah. This is Madoka as a girl who wants to beat you up. Yeah. This will yeah. be something. It'll, it'll look cute when I render it as, as it per already usual. looks cute. It looks cute and scary both you did it thank you and then where's kubi oh you're gonna get a kubi <laughs> kubi <laughs> what is it kubi not that one <laughs> <laughs> you got naruto didn't you i got a naruto <laughs> that's the risk you run is kubi the 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 one that kind of looks like a a dog a the, yeah it's like a little teddy bear dog like a little weird little animal but it is qb we know that Cube. Cube, Kubi, Kubi. What would Kubi be? Is Kubi also personality swapped with someone? Who's a Dragon Ball Z character? That's like an animal. That would Shenron. Oh, well, that's the, the dragon. The <laughs> dragon. Okay, I need to remember in the render to do like the glowing eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, cute. That's good. Amazing. Yubi. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh monster now, and I love it. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Everyone begging for a Madoka episode. Here you go. <laughs> this is it. He would this be Shenron though, because he Shenron is what you you yeah, that's get, true. You get the wishes from Nathan. I love your fanfic. Thank you. I'm you just should trying. Write it. I'm just trying to connect the worlds. Bring them together, Nathan. Bring us all together with your delightful theories. Madoka is the opposite of Dragon Ball or any long anime because it's so <laughs> it's so efficient with yeah. the storytelling. It's really good. Everyone should watch it. It's nice. Okay. Here's here's Majin Madoka. Yeah. Tired yeah. of cleaning up your shit <laughs> and here to just do bu bully you. Majinoka. <laughs> mm, yeah. Majita. 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 <laughs> Become Majita. The Joker. <laughs> the Joker. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Great job, Karina. <laughs> Thank you. So, Julia, we already know yours. Yes. You've got the full... We've come full circle. The yeah. full circle or triangle. Uh, so it's Mr. Krabs meets... Madoka. Madoka. Good okay. combination. Magical girl. All right, I'm going to start off with the Krabs. <laughs> Perfect. Start. You got to start off with the crabs. You got to start yeah. off with the crabs. Anyone want to start off with a thought exercise? <laughs> <laughs> a crab thought exercise. <laughs> I refuse to take the bait. I will not be baited. Like, like crabs do. Yeah. Last time you all made fools of me for my very reasonable crab based thought exercise. I really enjoyed it. People I thought People liked I, that. Yeah. People like when we make a fool out of you, Jacob. I basically got to draw an egg. Oh, yeah, you, no. you, you did pick an egg. <laughs> you drew one of the eye stocks. <laughs> and I saw the egg shape and, and just, went blind. <laughs> no, no. I, I, like, I like where this is going. Okay. This Let is... me know if you need any refreshers on M Maduka. I will at some point. Yeah, but you do your egg. I'm starting. I'm starting off building an, a crab base. Yeah, a booya base. A booya base. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Okay. <laughs> I just... The order in which you're drawing the things is so troubling. <laughs> it's really good. It doesn't surprise me. Why? Because it's why. I mean, why is it? Why is it disconcerting? Just something about the eye, one eye, then the body, then the nose. It's like my old drawing teacher used to say, you got to work on the whole drawing. Yeah. The whole drawing is your baby. If you don't feed every part of it, it dies. Yeah, but I feel like this didn't feel like working on the whole drawing. It felt like working on three disparate elements separately. Why would you say that about my old drawing teacher? I know better than your old drawing teacher. No, you don't. He I'm, taught me how to make paper. I'm your new drawing teacher, and I say, do whatever you want. It's fine. He taught you how to make paper, like like make that money make through that art? Paper. Make yeah. that paper. No, just how to literally make paper. Do Okay, do I want Mr. Krabs to have a big smile, actually? Is my question. Well, because here's the thing with Madoka. Her personality, she's very kind and friendly and like giving. She cares a lot. She Maybe cares too a lot. Much. Yeah. Okay. She's a nice girl. She's a nice girl. Did you guys ever see that Mr. Krabs is one thick bee video? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. That's ancient. Yeah. Wow. Whenever I hear Mr. Krabs, that's the first thing I think about, though. <laughs> I always think Mr. Krabs is one thick B. I first. mean, you think that because it's true, it and then true. you remember the video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In that order. The video was made because of the truth. It's yeah. Like, because we all knew. Like, yeah. I haven't seen that video, but I agree with the sentiment. Yeah. Like, I can look at Mr. Krabs and be like, yeah. Yeah, he's kind of thick. He's yeah. pretty thick. He's, he's pretty thick. He's a crab. He's pear shaped. He's a thick crab. Oh, I already want to befriend this crab. Yeah, this crab would not rip me off. No, he'd probably self sacrifice for me. Yeah, this crab would wish to end your suffering. Yeah, this is the second Madoka outfit I'm drawing on this show. 
Perfect. That's what I'm realizing. <laughs> right. You drew one for Paul Blart in Draga. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you know how to do it. You drew both you drew both outfits for him. You it drew really, the, the schoolgirl outfit and the magical girl outfit. The thing outfit. is, is that her magical girl outfit really is so cute. It's very cute. I love it so much. All the magical girl yeah. outfits in that show are really well designed. All the all the core characters have such cute outfits. It's amazing. There's like a Madoka like gotcha game that has just like tons and tons of magical girls in it mm -hmm. and i'd say most of them are pretty cute some of them are kind of weird but yes it's so fun they made up new magical girls for the game yeah there's is a it, lot of them is it canon kind of. do they have like, i couldn't tell you if it were canon and if yes where in canon does it know? have some of the historical magical girls yes. that are referenced in yes oh that's fun um, there were magical girls throughout history. Yeah. Damn. Well, I don't know if they're in it, but it does have like the main cast as part of it. I'd like if they put the historical magical girls in. That's a fun little little bit. Yeah. Sorry for all of these Madoka spoilers. I mean, these aren't really spoilers. Yeah, I don't feel like I know what goes on. Yeah. Yeah. But when you when you do see it, you'll be like, ah. I get it. I now. get what I get what they were talking about. But if you ever just want to look at a ton of magical girls, you can just look up the transformation sequences from the mobile game like yeah. on YouTube. People make really long compilations of them cuz there are a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the a kinda, shocking amount. The whole reason I ever play any gacha games is just cuz I want to see a lot of characters. Yeah. I just like to see them. Yeah. That's so good. that would probably get me all the way there, just watching on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, like, basically. Just, just show them to me. I just want to see them. The only gotcha game I actively really play from time to time is the Digimon one, just because anytime they release a new Bialzamon in the banner, I just absolutely lose my mind. <laughs> you gotta yeah. get it. You gotta get it. This is a excellent shape. Yeah, Julia. a bell shape. A beautiful crabs. A beautiful thick crabs. Magical. This is very cute. Mr. Krabs yeah. is one kind bee. You could put that dress on anyone. It'd be so cute. Proof, Mr. Krabs. There you go. Imagine a I world mean, where Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs was this nice. Yeah. Squidward would probably be less miserable. <laughs> okay, time to look up if someone's already made the Madoka SpongeBob crossover. And oh my what gosh. It's like. happening right now. Yeah. Before your eyes. Because obviously in that one. But you know what I mean. SpongeBob would be Madoka and Mr. Yeah. Krabs would probably be. Um, which one would he? He'd be that like that feral girl probably. <laughs> Kyoko? Yeah. Right? Maybe not. Probably. I feel like that. That or while Spurge is not. Oh, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's the just, entire. He's the one who goes. Hui, hui, hui. <laughs> but it's all burgers. It's all burgers and money. No. Madoka. Jacob, we don't understand any of this. Beep. No. Just, just nod. When does Majin Buu get in it? Okay, okay, it does exist. Okay. Um, Mr. Krabs is Kyoko. <laughs> yeah. Called it, but Patrick is Madoka. Oh. I think they did it by colors rather oh, okay. than like so the, personalities. So SpongeBob is mommy. Yeah. Yeah. Who's Homer? SpongeBob mommy. is daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's mommy. Uh, Sandy. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to this person on DeviantArt. But someone should do this version where Mr. Krabs is Madoka. Yeah, I like that. If we're switching everyone's personalities, then like. SpongeBob would definitely be Kyoko. Yeah. But I do also like the idea of SpongeBob being Madoka and then Squidward is Homura. <laughs> <laughs> just did every every reset just ends with Squidward going, SpongeBob, you idiot. <laughs> Spongy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, not someone, again. If someone draws that, you may tag me on Twitter. 
once. <laughs> <laughs> if you're the second person to tag on Twitter, yeah, that's it for you. Die. <laughs> but we got the big spatula. Oh my god. <gasps> it's good. What's uh, What's the line? Do you cherish the life you have now or something? <laughs> Do you cherish the life you have now, SpongeBob? <laughs> 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 Don't make me do this again, SpongeBob. <laughs> You're really good at voices, Nathan. Thank you, Karina. <laughs> Can you do a SpongeBob? Um. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god, that's pretty good. That I was will really end good. Suffering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wishing, I'm wishing, I'm wishing. <laughs> Nathan, you're so funny. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm having a good time. These jokes are just for Karina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jacob and Julie are just sitting here quietly. We, we can't anything. participate. But I'm glad that the Madoka fans will yeah. have something to watch. Yeah. And be like, Sorry I if get you're it. not a Madoka fan because... It, it's a fun one. You you could watch all of Madoka between when we finish recording and when this episode goes up. You know that? Easily. Easily. Easily? You could probably watch it in a day. Yeah. It's, it's what is it, 12 episodes? I think it's 12 episodes. Yeah. But what about the movies? Oh, I haven't watched the movies. Well, here's the thing. I think the first movie is just a recap of the show. Oh. It's a uh, rebellion. And rebellion's like maybe like two or so hours long. Hmm. Mm. I've I've only seen the series and I think it's great and self contained. Um, and I've... I feel like the movie is divisive, mm -hmm. but I personally think it's beautiful. I mean it looks cool. Yeah, it's stunning to look at, and I really like the movie. Please have discourse in the comments yeah. down below. It boosts our engagement. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it respectful. Yeah. Respect allowed, each other's opinions. You're allowed to disagree and still respect each other when it's about anime. Yeah. There are only two comments you're allowed to make. One is I liked the movie and the other is I didn't like the movie. Yeah. You're not allowed to say anything else. You, one what if you one say... person start a thread and everyone just say if you liked it or disliked <laughs> it and no elaboration. No elaboration. You could also say something like I like the movie but I also understand if nope. you think the nope. series nope. is nope. 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 complete. Nope. As is. I liked the movie. I did <laughs> like the movie. Yeah. That's One or the it. other. No in between. Okay. That's it. Julia, That's it. this is so cute. Yeah, Here's this is my wonderful. tiny little feet poking out the bottom. <laughs> okay. I have another fanfic. Okay. Okay. So it's this version uh -huh. where Mr. Krabs is Madoka and Plankton is Homura. Oh. <laughs> That's also good. <laughs> And uh, SpongeBob is Sayaka. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And Patrick is that violin kid. Oh, no. That fucking guy. <laughs> that fucking guy. I don't understand anything that's been said during my section. No, so... this is Patrick. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Julia, but also. We've been abandoned. If you watch Madoka before this episode comes out and then you rewatch this episode when it's out, mm -hmm. then this will all be so funny to you. You're going to love all the jokes I made. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be laughing like I did. <laughs> I'm laughing for all of us. <laughs> I think this is it. I, Julia, think, I, I yeah. think I did it. it. This is so cute. This is awesome. This is crab. Mado crab. Mado crab. Really silly. It is very silly. I, I love the giant spatula because her weapon is a bow. Yeah. And he's going to use that as his bow. Yeah, it's still <laughs> a range. Burgers at people. Weapon. Yeah. yeah and then good. the spatula part like blooms into a giant burger. <laughs> yeah. I know we've said burger a number of times. They are Krabby Patties for any commenters yeah. or who have already left that comment. Unless Mr. Krabs doesn't exist, then they're Squidly Diddlies. <laughs> <laughs> Squidly Diddlies. <laughs> 
Uh, well, that's it. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Why don't you like and subscribe? If you have an idea for an episode, put it down below. Yeah. Hey, wait, search I got, let me wish say something really funny. hard. Oh. Wait, I'm going to say something funny. <laughs> okay. Change your personality into someone with a good episode <laughs> idea. <laughs> wow. And then, <laughs> and then put it in the comments below. We'll sift through all the opinions on Madoka. Yeah. yeah. It should be easy. You could, okay, you could it should play. be easy because they're all going to be really short. <laughs> Well, you could put your suggestion at the end. You can say, I liked the movie, and then here's my yeah. suggestion. Or what you can do is support us on Patreon, and then you get access to our Discord, and then you can, can argue tell us there. your suggestion. <laughs> well, yeah, you we can We do argue have there. an anime channel. Sorry, mods, ahead of time. <laughs> I help mod, so Sorry keep it yourself. classy. <laughs> Uh, we also do Twitch streams, uh, yeah. which are on Monday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's we also it. have a store, DSPBA. <laughs> yeah. It That's wasn't it. it. If you buy That's something it. from our store, you can put in the notes of your purchase your opinions on the Madoka movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. That's We're it. We're sorry. We're That's sorry. That's it. Goodbye. Sorry. Sorry.